Hello, hello, hello. Uh, again, everyone, it's me, Steedo, uh, with another commentary video because uh, Saturn Factor Visa easier to make. Um, it's it's refreshing to at least change things up every now and then. It can't just be uh, me throwing a joke at you every video on the same game every day. Um, so so there's that. Um, the theme of this video is just going to be me playing as a as the Masked Saiyan, quote-unquote. Ooh, yes, what a legendary new character. I heard it's actually the Masked Saiyan that fights Goku in the uh, 2018 December movie. Um, Akira Toriyama told me himself, so it's it's complete fact. Honestly, I don't know how not everyone is aware of this yet. Um, but now that all the people who don't like commentary have left, um, I, I think I'm going to stream this weekend. I'm, I'm just going to throw that in. Uh, probably Xenoverse again, because like, that's... that's that's what people like to see, so... I don't know. Again, if you guys have any recommendations for you want to see me stream, I guess, you could say, hey, stream this in the comments. But don't say Fortnite. Um, I, I, I seriously won't even play it. Don't even say it, like, unironically, because I will just ignore it. Uh, but yeah, so in this fight, I'm uh, fighting this guy. Uh, you, you've seen him key cancel and do all of his... Uh, I don't think he actually back it once on his Saiyan, which is quite uh, surprising. Because male Saiyans have a really good back it, but I would say the main reason he didn't back it is because he didn't want to risk doing anything. That would leave him even slightly open. Because, um, you know, key stunning and key cancelling uh, is just the pinnacle of invisibility. <laughs> um, also, hit, nice connection. He hits me from very far away. Don't know how you could say it. Um, I love, I love infinite too. Um, I don't know how you could say that's even slightly unfair, honestly. I think you should be able to hit people from across the entire map in Xenoverse, so long as you're just mashing uh, key cancel and key stun. Because it makes you invincible even without you having to dash, which is you know, nice and fun. Um, but yeah, he, you know, he uh, kind of, uh, I don't know, shakes in his boots a bit too hard. I stamina break him, and he's like, oh, well, you know, I'm a Xenoverse player, so limit burst. And uh, for some reason, he tries to counter me to finish me off. I don't know. I mean, I thought he knew that I would have the mindset that he's playing defensively, so I know he's going to pull some trick when I come next to him. So I don't know why he thought I wouldn't see that coming, because all he's doing is playing defensively anyways. So I wouldn't just rush in to attack him, because that's just dumb. That that doesn't even work in this game when you're fighting someone who has full stamina and no stamina. Like, that doesn't work on literally anyone in this game, because this game rewards playing uh, defensively so much. You wonder why, like... Actually, no, hold on, that is what all ranked matches are in this game. Just two people flying backwards and spamming through damage and waiting for the other guy to mess up first. But yeah, um, I fight this Freezer guy a bit seriously, um, because, first of all, I think, from what I remember, he had a decent amount of TP. And on top of that, uh, when I saw his Freezer in the loading screen, I was like, oh god, he looks so... Uh, he had one of those Freezer designs that when you just look at it, you're like, oh fucking, he's gonna cheese me. He's definitely gonna cheese me. That's what you I felt like he was gonna cheese me, because pe some people just have the most basic, ugly-looking characters. I'm not saying this guy is one of those, but some people's character, the way they design their characters is their characters have such an unappealing look to them that you're like, all right, he's going to cheese me because this character looks so basic that I don't expect anything else from him. Or the character looks so ugly. I know the guy is probably just out to like, you know, uh, you know, ruin someone's time or something like that. Um, this guy, while he does appear laggy, it's only at the start of the fight. So, you know, you can't get too mad at it. Um, it, do it does die down a bit later on. Um, not to mention the fact that, you know, I'm, I'm picking Bardock and he's... That's something I need to say as well. Bardock in himself is a good character, but... Oh, sorry, yeah, Bardock is a good character, but the masked Saiyan, quote-unquote, isn't a, a good character in my opinion. And I know that sounds weird, because he has the same moves and yada yada yada. But the fact that he does, like, non-existent damage, and his supers are all, like, <laughs> complete garbage... Like, okay, yeah, Bloody Source is good for poisoning and slowing your enemy. I think this is, um, no, it's a bit later on. Bloody Source is really good for poisoning and slowing your enemy. A limit burst. Um, but, yeah, it's, the move sucks. Like, it really does. It, it does, it does no damage. It doesn't help for, it doesn't help as a ranged alternative to, um, Tyrant Lance or Rebellion Spear. Starting a Stamina Break of Sledgehammer. Nice and spicy. He doesn't really do anything with it. Um, 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, I forgot. I isn't it funny how everyone who has Sledgehammer on or has another OP move on? I'm just trying to draw a correlation because some people don't believe me when I say that Sledgehammer is... I mean, maybe it's my opinion that Sledgehammer is a cheap move. And if it's not a cheap move, it's mostly used in a cheap way. Hence the fact that whenever you get hit by Sledgehammer, the guy also has some funny shit like Aura Slide or Justice combination on. But again, that's just my opinion. Um, <laughs> I have nothing to say to that. I have nothing to say to that. I think another guy I fought um, did... No, that was yesterday's video. I like the camera angle for this. I love that camera angle, but I don't... I hate how you backflip at the end of Meteor Crash if you kill someone with it. Like, it looks so... I don't know, it makes the move look a lot less impressive. When you're like, oh, I beat him, but let me just backflip away for security. It's like... Oh, God. Um, this guy is a just a... He's just a really, really low-budget um, Vegeta. And when I say really low budget, I wouldn't say he's exactly low budget, because, yeah, he's got bad connection that allows him to back at me from literally any part of the solar system. Um, as well as the fact that I don't have uh, hit priority on him. I could attack him and the damage will come in like maybe two seconds later, or the damage may not come in at all because he would hit me the same time I hit him. So instead of having a clash, he, it would just be like, it would just be him damaging me and nothing happens to him. It's just so fucking stupid. Um, so yeah, not only is he just, you know, spamming XY and block mashing and key cancelling his, uh, you know, his life away. He's, uh, he's also got really bad connection, which doesn't help. Which is, oh, Limit Burst 2. All the good Xeno players just mad. Look, this is exactly... Oh. That time, I do think it was intentionally him just fucking with his connection, though. But the other times, like, you can tell his connection just isn't really up to par. Um, because this is just... This is, this is unplayable. Like, y you can see... Just look at where my health drops to. That's all I can, that's all I can say. I am clearly winning this by a very sizable margin. And the way my health drops, because he gets one, like, small combo on me. Because he's got, you know, the right moves to make his... Uh, for example, this exploit used to work more. Um, but I think it only works under really, really bad connection. Because I remember that used to do a crap ton of damage when the game first came out. And then never again, because... Uh, I don't know, they must have done something to the move. But now if people have bad connection for some reason, uh, that always, like, every single blast of that hits you in that, um, combo. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, he panic spams his evasive, you know. Because uh, why not? Good connection. This is good connection, by the way. What you just saw was good connection. If you disagree, it's because you don't know what good connection looks like. That is also good connection right there. Jesus Christ, this is just... Also, Meteor Crash, he just slides out of it. Yay! For people who say I don't show my losses, uh, here's one now. So, I don't know. Give yourself a pat on the back. Um, the most of the reason why I don't show my losses is because it's normally just nonsense like that, where it was literally not even in my control, whether I would win or lose that fight. It's like I was destined to lose the fight because the connection just wasn't good. Um, it's either that the connection isn't good or the guy I'm playing is really cheap, but when I lose against cheap people, I always show that, so, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, of course, here yeah, I'm fighting a female Saiyan, so, um... I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. You guys know what female Saiyans are like. I win this fight. I'm not going to... There's, there's, I'm really just showing you this fight to show how I finish off the person. That's pretty much it. Um, if you if you ever see me fight a female Saiyan in any video, just expect them to lose. If you see me fight anything that is a... That is not a male Saiyan, a female Margin, or a male Earthling, then it lost the fight. That's pretty much how it works. If it's any of those races, it lost the fight. If I'm showing it in a video and it's not those three races, that fight is a fight where I win. Guaranteed. Um... <laughs> Because, I mean, yes, I main a Saiyan, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna be stupid. Male Saiyans are stupidly overpowered. Um, I would say they'd be second best if female Margin didn't have the uh, stamina recovery thing, or if male Saiyans, or if male Earthlings didn't have the unvanishable stamina break. Because um, it's just the unvanishable stamina break and the stupid stamina recovery that makes those two races so... Also, this person doesn't limit burst. Weird, right? The only female Saiyan I fight and they don't limit burst. It's like the person was playing on a non sheep race and decided to just say, you know what? I'm gonna just take the I'm just gonna take the L because not much I can really do about this. Compared to everyone else, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm just gonna play on an easy race or an easy character and limit burst anyways because why not? Oh my god. Um, I think this is yeah, this is the same guy I fight the first time. Except I think he does a lot better in this fight. That's the reason I'm showing this here. He does a lot better in this fight, and by a lot better, I mean his connection is worse and he um he key cancels a bit more. Um, that's it. Not that his connection is worse, but for, for some reason, when I was entering a lot of these games, the, the connection would be really bad for, like, the first few seconds of the match, and then fix itself up later on. The only connections that were really bad were the Vegito guy, um, uh, that, that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't even, I, I, I don't think I need to explain that one. 
Uh, you saw that fight, so that's pretty much it. I think he limit bursts when his health gets lower, rather than earlier on. I did think he would limit burst. Um, I did think he would limit burst now, which is why I was trying to uh, get my my bloody source on him so soon. I was trying to get it on him uh, beforehand in case if he tried to limit burst later on. Uh, no, that that move sucks. This is when he limit bursts. Uh, this move doesn't have super armor. I thought it did have super armor, or at least a way to protect me from his limit burst, which is why I used it at such a bad time. Because it, it didn't really make any sense to um, to use it there. But I did, because I was thinking, hey, this might cancel out his limit burst. It didn't. That's my fault. Um, uh, something... Oh, no, no, that's, that's, that's a fight for a different video. But, yeah, okay, so, short summary, because this will be... I don't know. I don't know if this will be tomorrow's video, or if it will be Friday's video. But in short, uh, I fight a male saying, you know, he's he's cheap. He does all of his generic, uh, you know, low skill tactics. Beats me with Bardock, and then he beats me with here, and then he loses to Jiren. Um, and I will say that fight, the, the oh, you're gonna have to see the video for me to properly explain myself. I I can't talk about a different. I can't hype up a different video in this video. That doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed that disrespectful finish where I do the equivalent of teabagging. And then stamina break him. You can't tea. Yeah, you can kind of teabag in Xenoverse, but it's just not really that effective, is it? That's it for this video. If you liked the video, then like it. Subscribe if you like what you see. And um, uh, I usually say something at the end, but I have an outro.